You know, for the first time since we've met, you sound more like you're a princess than you're... Is this not a blessed plot? God's own country. And this Eden should be given to his servants to tend. Abbot Cunibert, this is the Norse I spoke of. Ah, yes. And quite a fearsome one at that. Bassam says you know the paladin Fulke. Indeed. The Lady Fulke passed this way not more than a month ago. We talked, we drank. Very pleasant woman. And where is she? Eivor will be your axe, Abbot. Whether to fell a tree, or hew the limbs from an enemy. What have you promised him? Oh, just a trifle, Eivor. A little problem I believe you can help me with. Speak your terms plainly, Abbot. I will decide if the bargain is worth my time. Ah! Your wolf shows its teeth, Basim. Let's cut to the point. What favor would you ask in exchange for Fulke? Some weeks ago, our elderman in Kent was called to God. A terrible loss. King Alfred has chosen his replacement, but has not yet announced the name. I must know it. Now. All of Kent will see soon enough which Thane he has chosen. Why not wait? I want early access. To woo him, before his exalted position is made public and every fool is at his door. Who else knows the chosen man? The King's Emissary. Sent with a letter of congratulations to the new Elderman. Intercept him and bring me the news. When I know the Thane's name, we'll discuss how I might win his favor. Why not kill him in secret and petition Alfred for the seat? As a man of God, I cannot. Besides, he who stands behind the throne can better pull on the puppet's threads. This emissary, how will I find him? Tunbridge Monastery sent word that the King's men always pass a few nights in their hospitality. Begin there. I'll get the Elderman's name. You find Fulke. All in good time. Now. If we're done, I have business up the south coast. Falkenstern has the best fish in Wessex. Then I will find you there, when the Elderman's name is mine. Cunibert is ambitious, but well-connected. We will not find Fulke without him. I suppose we'll see. What will you do? I'm not done playing with these Christians yet. I will see you in Falkenstern. I need your eyes, my friend.
troubles. Stone soldiers. What troubles you, old man? Please, I beg you. How many are there? I must know. How many what? The stones. Every time I count them, the answer is different. First twenty, then twenty-one. The fair folk made a madman of me. Rock cannot appear and disappear. I shall count them. Run round and round. Pick up your skirts. Still drag your ropes through the dirt. You mock old Cuthbert. Stone soldiers hopping in and out, in and out, like robins on a wood pile. Your stone centuries. I've counted them. And? How many lords and ladies come to dance a jig? There are 31. I think that was the count. See? Never the same. Never the same! Please, count them again. You must. To save my wits. I cannot get the same number twice. Never the same! Never the same! Cobweb cloaks and magpie hats! Are there 21? I, I cannot see. See? Never the same. Never the same! Please, count them again. You must. To save my wits. This is madness. They change each time. Don't close your eyes, or they'll steal the glinting flint. Scrabble it away. Perhaps there are 23. Ha! They have bewitched you too. Twirl and spin and dance and grin. Pyrak, it comes to bite your shin. Who came crawling from the moor like a fat black rabbit without any legs? I see you. Listen, little imp. Twenty-seven, twenty-one, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-two, twenty-two, twenty-two. I don't know how to help you. It seems as if the stones appear and disappear at will. You should not stay here. Leave. Leave before they claim you. The Screamer toy with me, casting his magic in England. That stone. Was it here before? And where is my mad friend? Damn this cursed place. Look soon in there.
Spread your wings soon. Best raise my hood here.
Give me a hand! Must be gold or silver here. Hey, come here!
asked about this land, my friend. Alfred's emissary spent a few days here. Someone may know where he went. Hello there! Leaving already? I must be... If Alfred's emissary spent a few days here, someone may know where he went. You trying to catch flies, or would you ask something of me? I'm looking for a man. He passed through here on the King's business. Oh, bugger off here, or I'll call the guards. I'm sick of people. You need to heal your own ills. Maybe some coin will lose your lips. A wise move, Mudwit. It so happens I did see Alfred's man. He's long gone, though. Maybe Gowan the Bard knows where. Where will I find him? Well, he was pissed as a newt. Last I saw, he was passed out in trees between the arbor and bridge. Oh, now go find someone else to vex. There was a bard drinking with the emissary. I should find him. See if he knows anything. What do you see? That eel swamped scarp can't have gone far. You there, you're alive. Patience is a tired horse. Plod -de -de -plod -de -plod. Another tottering teat sucker who can't hold his drink. Let's clear your head. wakes me. Are you the tail weaver? Gowan the dandelion. For the seeds of my stories flit upon the winds of Wessex. But why, mule, do you kick my noggin? You and Alfred's emissary were drinking in the tavern. Tell me where he went. Were we? I was so ale addled. Perhaps a small and silver thing upon my palm might... Help me recall? Have some coin, and rent a proper bed for the night. Oh, bless you! For stories are my currency, friend. How else am I to make my living? A more honest profession? Plowing fields, milking cows. Manual labor? God's blood! There's a fortress to the southeast where paladins pray by night and fight by day. Dover on the White Cliffs. My thanks. And in return, wisdom. Too much beer-bibing will grow a fool in wit and words. My thanks, weaver of the obvious. Now leave me to my unholy punishment. The 
the emissary made for Dover Fortress. The...
She'll be rising! should not be seen in this area. Show me what lies ahead.
won't let us lose. No escaping your fate! Fessit dominus nostra sapiens nugus, vide collecta supra in terra a terres.